So hernia is a protrusion of, a, of an organ or part of an organ through an area of weakness or an abnormal opening. We have uh, general types of hernia and specific types of hernia. General types of hernia include the reducible hernia which can be returned back to its place by, uh, by the patient or the surgeon manually. The irreducible hernia which cannot be returned to its place and it's often a large hernia. The obstructed hernia in which the bowel is obstructed but has a good blood supply and it can go into the strangulation state in which we have uh, a cut off blood supply to the uh, contents and uh, it can end up with a gangrene in a matter of six hours. And also we have the inflamed hernia in which the contents of the sac become inflamed. Specific types include the inguinal hernia which is a hernia that protrudes through the inguinal canal. It has two subtypes the direct inguinal hernia which is the acquired one Direct inguinal hernia occurs through the Hasselbeck triangle. Hasselbeck triangle is composed of the inferior epigastric vessels from the lateral side. From the uh, medial side, we have the rectus, the side of the rectus abdominis muscle, and from the uh, from the lower side, uh, we have the uh, from the inferior side, we have the the pubic bone. This area is considered weak because the abdominal wall is composed only of the transversalis fascia and the external oblique aponeurosis. The direct hernia is less prone to strangulation because of its wider neck. Another subtype of inguinal hernia is the indirect inguinal hernia, which is the congenital one. It's usually protrudes down to the scrotum and mostly occur in children, and it's more prone to strangulation because of its narrower neck. Another hernia is the femoral hernia, which is a protrusion through the femoral canal. The umbilical hernia occurs through a weakness in the, uh, in the umbilicus. And the paraumbilical hernia occurs through the linea alba, just above or sometimes below the umbilicus, but does not occur through the umbilical scar. And the epigastric hernia occurs through the linea alba anywhere between the cyphoid process and the umbilicus.